Uh, although the, the molecule has one really obvious main chain here, this horizontal chain at the bottom, the side chain on the molecule has this chlorine stuck on it. And because the chlorine is there, it doesn't allow you to use any simple name like isopropyl or secbutyl that you might have ever learned. So you need to be able to build one of these side chains in parentheses to correctly name the molecule. There are a couple of uh, related ways to do this, but the way that we do it um, for this course, uh, and one of the uh, accepted IUPAC ways to deal with naming the molecule is to take and consider your side chain, which is everything that I just put into this red box, and say that that side chain is going to be attached to the rest of the molecule through carbon one of the side chain. Okay? So by, by using this, this way of, of numbering, this number here for the starred carbon is always set. From that point on, you use rules that are essentially the same as the rules we just used for the first molecule. You want to find now the longest chain that includes carbon one. So you start at carbon one and you go off in different directions from carbon one. And whatever the longest chain is, you find that emanates from this carbon is going to be the longest chain. So we could count to the left. Well, that's only a that's only going to be actually a two carbon chain because you'll include carbon one plus the next carbon. So that's two carbons long. Or you can go up and to the right. And in that case, you've got carbon one, two, and three as I've numbered here. So the two chains are either two carbon or a three carbon chain. Three carbons longer, so that's the main chain. Now you define the chain. Now you look at what substituents are going to be off of that chain. So since the numbered carbons are in the main chain here, the things that are substituents are the methyl group that I just circled, another methyl group that I just circled, and the chlorine that I circled. So we have three substituents off the main chain. Okay, so now in building the name for the molecule, we're going to do the same type of thing as we did in the previous example. We're going to write down our longest chain in the entire molecule as the root for the name. Okay, so that's decane again. And then we're going to attach our entire side chain here to decane to the lowest possibly numbered carbon, which happens to be 5. If I number from right to left here, it's going to be 5. If I number from left to right, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 5 is lower than 6, so we pick that as the numbering. And then that group, which is this entire thing in the red, um, in this red shape, um, you're going to have to designate that that's attached at carbon 5 to the main chain, but then you're going to have to say what this group is, which is a group that is based on propane, because there's a three carbon chain, you're going to drop off ANE and replace that with YL. And then you're going to attach two methyl groups and a chlorine here. To that, pro, to that propyl chain. Okay, so we've got chlorine and chloro for the chlorine substituent, 
and we have methyl, so C, C is lower alphabetically than M. So, switch to this. So we're going to have chloro, dimethyl, propyl, chloro, and then dimethyl, propyl, and then we need the numbers to show where the atoms are. The chlorine here is attached to carbon three of this three carbon chain. The two methyl groups are attached to carbons one and two. Okay, so what we have is a three chloro, one two dimethyl propyl group, that entire group attached at position five in the, on the decane chain. And I'll, I'll post this online as well, the, uh, <clears throat> the sheet. So the correct mating for this molecule is five hyphen, all in parentheses, three chlor, one, two, dimethyl, propyl, close the parentheses, and then decane. <clears throat> How many of you have used Kendra before? <clears throat> If you use Kendra, it will number it differently in a way that I won't accept in, the class, in this class. It uses a variation on the IEPAC rules that takes and does not count this point of connection as carbon one. Okay? So the name that Kendra is going to give you is going to be 5, 4 chloro, 3 methyl, 